In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your file and artwork in Illustrator for printing gloss. The Roland can print a glossing to create a variety of finishes ranging from a matte clear coat to a high gloss to a raised emboss layer. Gloss is printed as an overprint and a separate file must be created and run after completing printing your CMYK graphics. To print gloss, you must first create a new swatch. Go to the swatches window and click new swatch. Choose a vibrant color that is easily identifiable such as hot blue 100% cyan. Do not choose white. The RIP will not print white since it assumes the substrate is always white and will instead create a knockout. Title the swatch RDG underscore gloss, all caps, and select spot color as the color type. Your screen should look exactly like this. Apply the swatch to the artwork you want to print in gloss. Place everything you want printed gloss on a separate layer as you will need to save this layer as a separate file. Save your file by going to File Save As and choose PDF as the file type. Add CMYK to the end of your file to identify it. Delete the layers that contain the objects you assigned to the RDG Gloss Swatch. The only layers you should have left are your Regmarks layer and your CMYK artwork. Save changes to your file by going to File Save. Open your original AI file and save your file as a PDF by going to File, Save As, and selecting PDF as the file type. Add gloss to the end of your file name to identify it. Delete all other layers except your gloss layer. And save changes to your file by going to File, Save. I'll show you how to set up your job to print on the VersaWorks lecture for printing gloss.